Davis and Shatley Zambia was founded 22 years ago in 2001 and we started with a small shop down in town on Freedom Way and from then and in the intervening years several things have happened. One of them is uh, we obviously quickly outgrew the little shop that we had on Freedom Way and then we moved to Lumumba Road and within a few years we started opening up branches. As we speak, we've got eight branches around the country. And with this growth, it became obviously necessary to consider about our ability to distribute the product that we deal with. And we took up more storage, we took up more warehousing in, along Lumumba Road. But increasingly, we found ourselves out of space and also lacking the capacity to keep on growing. A short while ago, we decided that the better thing would be to put up a modern facility. And that is what birthed Luasha Road. So we took up this approximately one acre piece of land, plus or minus, and uh, have been building it for the last one to two years. And we now have a modern facility, which we are confident it will be adequate for the foreseeable future to grow the business. To start with, as you can see the new distribution warehouse, we have more space here. It's better defined, it's better labeled. In comparison to the old warehouse, we're able to stock a lot more inventory in this new warehouse. We've actually managed to put five warehouses basically into one. It has impacted the company in a positive way in the sense that uh, we are able to house a lot of stocks uh, due to the large space which we have in here and we're able to distribute our stocks across the country and other neighboring countries like uh, Zimbabwe, DRC and Malawi. We did not build just what is enough for current needs. We have got what we see should be able to take us at least for the coming medium term, maybe five, ten year period. And um, we are obviously very ambitious, thinking of opening up new outlets, having new products launched, considering possible markets even around the region. We have come up with a facility which is modern to world-class standards. We can now forget about warehousing and stock keeping and focus more on growing the business. We try to take what we consider the back-end activities, make them less of an issue by investing so much into them, such that they do not become a bottleneck to our core business, which is to get our customers to receive that which they want. So the front end is enabled by the back end, and we do feel that Luansha Road Distribution Center is a huge step forward in making sure that the back end is not a bottleneck. We have thought about the greening of the distribution center and we have got rich trucks which are electrified and we use the forklifts which are electrified to make sure that the working environment within the warehouse is as pleasant as sitting in many air-conditioned offices. And that this has all been used by putting thought and engineering in the design of the premises to make sure that it's a pleasant place to work in and everyone can look forward to reporting to work every day. And secondly, we have invested in the systems that would manage such a distribution facility. So we've got the top of the range systems to manage a complex distribution facility in Luansha Road. What we have is bays and markings within the warehouse area to make sure that we can actually receive several times what we're able to receive in a day by increasing the efficiency of how we receive items, how they are offloaded and how they are stacked away and how they are entered into the system. We also have thought of the process of sending it out and that involves one, the picking and the verification and the loading. The ridge truck which has been given to us is very handy with offloading consignments we used to offload at one consignment and take up a lot of time because we're using manual labor and we actually use a lot of manpower to do so. But what's happening now is we're using a ridge truck 
and we're able to upload the 40 foot container in less than an hour. All the staff working in the warehouse have been trained on the use of the warehouse management system that we're actually using here. We were trained on how to use the rich truck, how to use the gadget, and the gadget makes it easy for us to track and identify where to find an item. The clientele is bulk customers. We're serving our distribution customers and we're also serving our branches as well. So releasing stocks in bulk, they've actually been trained on that as well. The new distribution center actually has three gateways. We didn't have that before. In the old warehouse, we used to have uh, one exit point. At that exit point, we used to use it for receiving and issuing stock. Customers would be coming on the same gateway and the suppliers would come on the same gateway. And if this is happening at the same time, we used to have one of them having to wait until the other party has completed. But what's happening now is we have access to three gates. So we are able to do three different things at the same time. We can actually offload three trucks at the same time and we can actually load three or we can actually receive stocks and issue stocks at the same time. Yeah. Challenges were there. Basically what we were doing in the old system, we had to totally unlearn everything. The new system has got totally different steps from what we used to do before. In this new system, we've learned about picks, we've learned about putaways. We didn't have bins in the old systems. We didn't have a situation where we have one particular item in a bin and we didn't have our bulk warehouse basically on the top floors and moving stocks to the bottom floors. So basically the team had to forget the old system and start learning the new system. But on top of that, the time we came here, we didn't have machinery. Most of the time we used to hire forklifts, which was a challenge to move around the house. Fortunately enough, we didn't face any damages. The future of the warehouse is to make it as a distribution center for Southern and Central African region. We're able to deliver on a weekly basis to all our branches. We've increased the quantity of what we're sending to the branches, so we've received less complaints on their stock holding there and the speed at which we're able to give them the items. I foresee a situation where, on a daily basis, we'll be loading trucks that will be going to the different parts of uh, our neighboring countries. Right now, we are already serving three, Zimbabwe, DRC and Malawi. So going forward, I see a situation where on a weekly basis, we'll have trucks going to different corners of Zambia, distributing to our neighboring countries. As much as Zambia has grown, the group has also been growing. And um, we are now in 11 countries. Denzel Shatley is a fully African company, and we're very proud of our African roots. It's an organization which is more than 75 years old. And within that period, the organization has grown from being a one country organization to a multinational spread around the African continent. And we are ambitious because we do feel that in the segments that we play, which is water and energy, there is a big demand in virtually every market. And that, that means that we've got to think of moving into new markets and providing the products that we feel are so appropriate. And that would only be possible if we have got a facility like we have got in Zambia. And Zambia, as the president has been talking about, is not so much a landlocked country, it's actually a land-linked country. We have got so many countries surrounding us, and it is like the perfect place to be able to reach out to these markets. And having a facility like this, which will be able to spread us across the region, makes a lot of sense. And we do feel that what we've come up with now is a facility which would enable us to achieve that anticipated growth.